Tasman's Ferry, New South Wales, start point for the second annual KTM Australia Adventure Rally. With over 200 riders gathered from all over Australia, the KTM bivouac is buzzing. In the heart of it all, KTM Australia's general manager, Jeff Leesk, is contemplating riding his newly gifted Dakar winning machine. There's also some familiar faces from last year's event, all eagerly anticipating a massive week of adventure. Jeff, bring my bike up. Once again steering this ship, KTM's Rosie Lalonde. Welcome to the second annual KTM Australia Adventure Rally. I can't believe it's the second year already, thank you. KTM's trusted course designer is back again too, Nick Selleck. An example tomorrow is we're going through Blackfellas hand trail. And we also have, all the way, from the United States of America, welcome to Australia, Lee Ricky Johnson. International motocross and supercross legend. The great thing that I love about adventure riding at this stage of my life is that it's about the riding. It's not about who can jump the biggest effing jump or who can do the craziest thing. It's about getting together like this. And as the afternoon rolls on, travellers from afar keep rolling in. Where have you come in from, mate? Uh, Queensland and Gold Coast. Good stuff. It doesn't matter what kind of rider you are. Once you become a part of a KTM rally, you'll be an adventure rider for life. We arrive at the ancient Garden of Stone, a worthy place to gather our senses before taking on the first challenging breakout route. And once you've made the rocky climb, it's onward to one of the Blue Mountain's most epic views. And while this spectacular landscape is well worth the stop, it's obvious riders are more interested in riding the epic trails. What's been happening out there, boys? Oh, it's been pretty good actually. The one gnarly track was pretty fun. We pulled a lot of puddles and a very steep section was interesting. Did you get up the rocks first go? Yeah, 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 yeah. The rocks? <laughs> that looks pretty good. Steak sandwich? Steak sandwich. It'll get us through the rest of the day. 
Well, your bike gets you through the rest of the day. Yes. I captured a lot of fun and games on the hill. <laughs> Did you get some, was it big crashes there? There were some good riders, there yep. was some comedy and yeah, it was all happening. What's this adventure riding all about? Oh, mate, it's pretty good. You go from spot to spot and you just stop at cafes and drink lattes all day. successful day one behind us and we arrive at Janolan Caves. Day one in the bag. Now what? Day two. Well, beer. Yeah, first few beers before day two, eh? That's I think you might have earned a couple. I think I might have too. You reckon? Yeah. Where are you from, Johnny Lester? Uh, Bendigo. Bendigo? Yep. Nice one. Yeah. No, be good, good time. Right at home in this country then. Yeah. Uh, this is good fun. G'day, What's mate. What's your story, brother? Good day's ride. Yeah? Yeah, tricky little, um, tricky little uh, rocky pinch, but yeah. got through it clean. Kept there was bars a bit of comedy the up there, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. Then RJ, get up here and interview Mr. Price. How's that sound? RJ and Toby Price. Yeah, just getting that feel uh, back through the bike, just trying to get that, I guess it's just that vibration through the pegs, just to, I don't know, the doctors always say that, yeah, uh, a little bit of pressure on the bone and just um, trying to get the air. The As with last year, riders are treated to a special guest appearance from the Dakar champion himself who is utilising the rally as one of his first rides back since injury at this year's Dakar rally. Doing what it normally does, so uh, done my little ride, but um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see how the old leg hair holds a uh, lemon on you tomorrow and see how we go. Well, a bunch of these guys, I think, are looking at you, they want to shot at the title, so who, the promo show hands, who's big ticket with his ass tomorrow? Anybody? Anybody? Come on, you pussies. <laughs>
what's this whole adventure thing all about anyway? Well, we're starting to learn about it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. Fun. What do you mean? Your first one? Oh, it's first Cadia Rally, yeah. And what have you ridden before like this? No, oh, nothing. Nothing? No, no, just what, road racer or something? Yeah, a bit, a bit of everything. And yeah. how did you get on to the 1190? I rode one. That's it. <laughs> the last section, I just scraped stuff yeah. through it. The traction control is actually in the dirt, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. I'll switch mine switch off. Get rid, really get rid of it. 150 full stick. Philip Tickle. Sound like a fast guy. <laughs> you get along all right out there? No, I'm just taking it easy. Just trying to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is your new world. Yeah, no, it's good stuff. Definitely enjoying it. A bit of everything. It's good to get Pocket. out of the desert into the forest. So. Absolutely, yeah. No, that's it. A eh? bit of blacktop, bit of nice gravelly, grippy roads. I like the grip. I don't know about the really soft, slippery stuff, but anyway, it's uh, oh, good mate, fun. You're an adventure rider now. You got to suck it up. Is this your pride and joy? Uh, yeah. Could say that. Have you got others? I've got a DR650 as well. Oh, what is, Sorry. You don't need that now. No, well, no, I don't. I'm, I am selling it. Cruising along the Putty Road, we soon latch onto some back trails leading us all the way into the Hunter Valley wine region. How good is it? Oh, best ever. Look at this landscape. These two crazy blokes. <laughs> So bloody hungry, but I reckon you've earned it. That was good going out there in the rocks, eh? Right. Can I, I, say the I was convinced I'd folded the rim a couple of times and uh, she's had the front end page. That rim is folded, that <laughs> hell of a lot of sideways stuff. You'll see. Hey? Oh, absolutely. Sandy, gloomy. And you were right up the 1190. Yeah, is there any other way to ride one? What are we drinking? Coopers. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Rounding out day two, we arrive at the quirky tent lands of Dashville. Tell you what, Raymond. Uh, you're Googling how to change a tyre, are you, Nick? No, but the tyre service ran here. This is the Irish adventure. It is an Irish adventure, is it not? It is indeed, yeah. yeah. New tyre. Hey, go on around the, do, you want to, do you want to see what came off it? I, I might have overdone this one, I think. What do you think of this whole adventure thing? Yeah, it's pretty good. For, I'm a bit of a beginner at it. I only oh, yeah? had this bike for eight months. So. Motocross rider, enduro? Enduro. Yeah. Got a 500 at home as well. Oh, yeah, so you've been there and done that. Now you want a bit of comfort touring. A bit it. of comfort, yeah. So dirt bikes, you, get a, you do 60k loop or 100k loop a big day. Um, adventure stuff like what do we do today? 300 and 350, 400 k's, and saw some amazing stuff. And then you just talk shit about what happened. Up that first hill climb, I got nearly all the way up to the top. And as soon as you click the switch on that camera, I lost my balance and I fell off. So you must have some secret technology that makes people lose their balance to make your photography look better. That's a pretty serious one. Uh, get some red slick play up the top and about three river crossings in that section. Barry, uh, the breakout through Barry Station has 21 river crossings in it. 
I'm guessing you've spent a bit of time in the Hunter region. I have. I love wineries. You've never approached it from this angle, have you? And I did get horizontal a few times, I'm not going to lie. I saw your bike in the workshop right now. What's going on? What's the situation, Gav? Just repairs to uh, Miss Peck's little incident she's had today. Just give it a one over to make sure it's going to go through tomorrow. All the cosmetic stuff. Just plug the XC1 diagnostic tool. This thing's a weapon. We couldn't work without it. So. Now the rally's in full effect. Yeah, we've had the... Swapping wheels in the dark, on your knees in the dirt, lighting it up with your phone, dropping the spacer. Oh no, the spacer. What's today's plan? These lads look like they could do with a little motivation in the rain. <laughs> I saw a gentleman over there, he knows the track pretty well. He said, that, I think the first breakout's all right. He said the next one's two to five or six going to be pretty bad. You're thinking about it too much. Yeah. Get on your bike you and just go doing. for a ride. That's it. And we're, go where the fun is. And I'm pretty sure that's where the green arrows are. <laughs> What do you reckon? I hope I haven't given them a bum steer.
If nothing else, this morning's breakout through the mud section was preparation for the main event. This elevating trail is leading us into terrain that few would ever have experienced on a big adventure bike. What's the name of this place? I don't know. It's the back of Moon and Flats. So. It's the pits of hell. <laughs> Cresting the mud mountain, it's now every man for himself. Some were fortunate enough to have another rider help them get their bike up the mountain. However, never will you find someone to help you ride down. Every rider descending this slick trail is on top of a two-wheel drifting runaway train. You've just got to get to the bottom any way you can. You can't explain that shit to someone. You no. have to get on and experience it for yourself. Don't that's you? Once they slide, they're sliding both wheels and you just get the back. And the out. front brake, you might as well disconnect it. Look like you got everything under control. We won't forget the Mud Mountain in a hurry. What an epic day it's been so far. A true gentleman. Rolling into the first rendezvous point, we rejoined the riders who avoided the breakout and took the main route. Toby, what went down on the Clubman route, mate? Um, yeah, I felt pretty strong on the Clubman route. It was, uh, it was, it was technical. How was he looking out there, Lisky? He looked uh, amazing, actually. He's, uh, he's up on the pegs, he's in the deco. It's like he's riding deco, you know, it just looks yeah. exactly the same. So. Feet up through the puddles. Feet up through the puddles. Yeah. yeah. Can't I've, give feet wet. I've never seen him look better. It's thirsty work, Frank. It is, mate. Hey? How'd you go through the mud? Loved it. Slip and slide.
Yeah, I've got exactly 70k fuel range left. What's yours saying, Toby? 100. Ooh, you might be... Uh... You have to wait on the gas, Toby. No, it's been soft. We're staying in about a few hours. What did you think of that this oh, morning? Oh, the slippery, slidey stuff and ruts and mud and... How good no was that this morning? Oh, I don't know if good's the right description. <laughs> well, we must have been it's shot. official. You can actually we can ride a bike. Ride. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> Ta-da! And in the dust and the rocks and the shit, <laughs> it's getting it done. Yeah, just ploughing on through. Mind you, I did come on a few times, I'm not going to lie. But that's all right. Yeah. That's A big day three in the bag as we make it to this glorious chateau in Walker. Most riders are accounted for in the dining hall, but while Nick begins outlining tomorrow's route, it seems a few weary soldiers are still bringing it home. Which, whichever way the, the slope was, it just would go. It didn't matter. <laughs> so you'd be like, I'm looking there, I'm doing everything in my my being to will the son of a bitch to go this way and it just starts going this way and then I got my leg out and then don't let it fall going into Wayne on River um, National Park so I thought it really is that's kind of tricky and that's about it the only other thing is there's no fuel and we're down but we've got a uh, dung dog on uh... people have showered dinnered uh, beers and they're off to bed yeah, well, it's those people that know it. me know I usually get there, but I'm not the fastest uh, <laughs> fastest horse in the stable. It's not about being fast, it's about surviving and going the distance, and you've done that. Luckily, the servo at Nundle stayed open for us. Holy shit. Swag life. Sprocket. Best night's sleep I've had. The whole trip. Yeah. You didn't get in it tonight, but... Bringing them home. What went down out there, Gregor? Some burnt out clutches, slippery hills, and uh, yeah. general chaos. General chaos.
What do you think of that country, boys? That was pretty it's good. good. Huh? Nice, nice and slippery. slippery. It's a bit fucking slippery for my liking. Yeah. Oh, further back in the mountains. Yeah. It was just whole bike just drifting. Yeah, both wheels. Jeff Gladstone, you're back again for another year. Back again. On the gas, no doubt. Sometimes. Most of the time. How's the 11.9? Is it the same one from last year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's happening out there, mate? Just enjoying the trail. Couldn't yeah? be much better than that. A bit sloppy, a bit dry, some prime farm roads. Yeah, having a ball. This Un terrain's good, huh? Unbelievable. And what enough. have we got here? The, the 690. Are you new to the game or you just like the little bike? Uh, well, I've had this for about six years now. Yep. Done um, all across the top of Australia on it. Uh, first time in New South Wales doing it. So, enjoying it in the wet stuff, that's for sure. Barrington Tufts with all the mud. Yeah. Well, I think I got a whole bunch of mud around the back tire and jammed it up. And, and you didn't wake up to it in time and oh, put and the clutch. You were just forcing it. I was wrecking, wrecking machinery again two years in a row. <laughs> too hard on two the equipment. Two years in a row, I know. Yes. It's not very good, is it? Way too hard on the equipment, I know. Friend. I know. But anyway, Harry fixed it all up. He's, he's a genius. Oh, and look at this. There's your factory support. That's right. right there. there he is. There goes Harry. How are you going out there today, Ricky? It's good, man. Today was awesome. A little bit slimy. Um, some of the spots, but just epic riding once again. Uh, you like that cattle country? I loved all of it. You know, we're up in the jungle stuff. There's a little bit slimy, and you had to watch yourself. The big girl wants to drift around, move <laughs> around. Um, but to be honest, man, everything is just, it's, it's perfect. It's the way it's supposed to be. What's the situation? Doing a bit of airfield maintenance, or trying to. Good to see you looking after the old girl. Mm -hmm. Something we find. I know look like Mr. Bardbus's boy. No, it's not mine. Good, let's have a look at that. Good evening, guys, and welcome to the beautiful Riverwood Dales. I think we need to give a big round of applause for all the staff here at Riverwood. They look after us. Fredo. For the past two conferences, at some point over the three days, he has taken his shirt off and done push-ups. It's his thing. I ain't gonna stop him to do it. 
But this year, we've got Americans yeah. to pit him against. Steve, are you excited? I'm excited. And why were you nominated from this burly crew of USA guys to represent your country and your team? Because I was the only one not there when the, when the challenge came out. Navy SEAL for you know? They're not Navy SEALs. But. As it turns out, RJ is actually down under on the rally to train a squad of American elite soldiers and help them improve their riding skills in rough terrain. Alright, so keep your right foot on that brake. Even if it gets gnarly, you got to have that rear brake to stop and fall over because if you're out with your rudders out, ah, then what's going to happen? You're going to grab too much front brake and you're going to end up. So just tell yourself, look up, look up, look up, picking your next three routes, okay? Kind of like inner, like like Stump says, get out of your holo site. Look around, start planning your next move, because next thing you know, you'll find yourself into a corner, into a rut. All right. Look at this, a tandem social update. What do we got? Reception signal, it's a miracle. Back to reality. Obviously, that's why this guy's got his face in his phone. Have you ever ridden any sort of shit like this until now? Nah, nah, never. Done enduro riding, done yep. adventure riding down a dirt road, but nothing as good as this. Would you ever have thought you'd see such big rigs pushing through sketchy terrain? I can't believe where these things can go. It's just amazing. Super service here. It is. I'm going to clean his goggles. Yeah. Well, Ricky Johnson does in retirement. My powder is balls. She's nice and dry for the ride. Five epic days, a surprise entry from an American moto legend, another appearance from an Aussie Dakar legend, 
and over 200 riders living the adventure bike dream on the 2017 KTM Australia Adventure Rally. You've been disturbing the peace today, Jeff. Yes, we have, Adam. Very, nice, so. very nicely, though. Yeah. yeah. The sweet tone of a 990 pipe. Twin pipe, twin acros, side by side with this maniac. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of an oxygen thief. Yes. That's what an AR. To you, was it kind of like what attracted you to motorcycles in the first place? It's just getting out and going for a ride. Yeah, that's it, exactly that. Um, I just love getting on a bike and, and going on an adventure, and this this is what it's all about. And I guess, yeah, it kind of just brought back the those memories of just being out riding and being with a whole more 200 odd mates now. KTM trying to put on uh, a great experience for everybody, but the great experience obviously is worthless without you. Did it make you a better rider? Oh, of course it did. Yeah? And I met a lot of really nice people. The three guys that no one cares about. They're up, <laughs> they're out, the back, they're, right. shit kicking. they're out yeah. first, they're in last. Stick a tanker off her, they pick up the pieces, they get abused, yeah. might get a warm beer if they're lucky, yeah, exactly. but no matter what, they never get a feed. They get they keep the show on the road every time. Right. It Everyone wouldn't be the back. same without you boys. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. All good. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. 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 Can you send that to me, Mum?